Hey, welcome and thank you for joining me tonight. We're calling these Wednesday nights 15 Minutes of Faith. And I, I would encourage you to, to just put this on your, uh, on your calendar, on your phone. Uh, if you still use a day timer, you know, put on your device, put an alarm there and get ready. I, I know you're just like me uh, in, in, in any situation, in any week, in any day. To get a shot of faith is huge, but particularly with what we're dealing with in the 2020 year. And you know what? I'm committed during this time not to sit here uh, with you, with your valuable 15 minutes that we're connecting and just seeing the blues, just talk about how bad it is, rehash all the details. We got plenty of people doing that. Uh, that's not what I'm going to do. We're, we're, gonna, we're going to go into the Word of God. I'm going to give you 15 minutes of faith, a faith shot. You know, we're, we're trying to find a vaccination, and we really need to. Uh, to do with the coronavirus. Well, I'm going to give, I have, I have, uh, there has a vaccination been developed for your faith, <laughs> and it is the Word of God. So right now, uh, I'm going to give you a faith vaccination. We're going to vaccinate you against doubt, fear, unbelief, panic, despair, depression, lack. I, we, I'm going to give you uh, a dose of faith, uh, not from George Sawyer, uh, but from the Word of God, and, and it will encourage you. So I want to I would encourage you to share this, and, and uh, I, not only our Calvary family, I, I, I'm praying everyone in our Calvary family, our online family, family on site, everyone, uh, we need on this Wednesday night at 6.30, a boost, a shot of the Word of God, of faith connected with the power of the Holy Spirit, not a dead letter, not a dry dose of history, but a fresh rhema uh, encounter with faith that's released when we hear the word of God anointed by the Holy Spirit, all right? So, so let's jump in. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for uh, taking the time. I value your time, uh, and, and I appreciate our connection that we're having here. We're having uh, more and more of our, our family uh, be able to connect and get back on site. Uh, we're going to be very strong uh, in ministering to you online and on site, uh, excited about what God's going to do next, knowing that uh, God, our, the power of God, our Father God, our mighty God, our mighty Savior Jesus, were here before the coronavirus or with, or with us during the coronavirus, and we'll be here on the other side of the coronavirus. And we're going to come out stronger because we're following God. So let's talk about something today that you need faith for, and I'm going to read some scripture and we're going to apply it right here to this moment. Not theoretical, but what's the shot of faith? My vaccination against doubt, fear, unbelief, discouragement, and despair. What are we going to do? Well, let's, let's think about this. Here we are, uh, and we're, we're, we're late in, in, in the, the, you know, in where spring, fall has begun. Let's say we're late in the year. Fall has begun. Uh, this coronavirus started uh, in the first quarter of this year. Most of us, I thought, would be through this by now. I think we all thought uh, we would, would be back to what we call life as normal, but here we are. And so let's look at this moment. It, it, it's, it's somewhat symbolic of, of many seasons of all of our lives. Have you ever had a, a moment, a season, a time where you said, you know, uh, this is not what I thought it would be? You know, we have expectations, don't we? And we're people of faith, and, and uh, I think sometimes we... Um, uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and in our mind and our thoughts, we've already decided what the answer to prayer is going to look like. Have you done that? I've done that before. Uh, you know, you said, wow, well, this is not how I thought God would answer my prayer. This is now how I, not how I thought life would be looking right now. We have these expectations that are sometimes ours, not God's. Now, God will do what he said. I expect God to do what he said, but God has the right to do it when and how he chooses. Uh, it's better than our expectations, but we deal with that, don't we? Sometimes we're saying, this is not what I thought. This is not what I expected. Uh, I didn't anticipate being in this time of this year, 2020, and be dealing with these things. Our expectations are, wow, this isn't what I wanted. This isn't what, this isn't what I thought can really derail us if we're not very careful. So let me help you today, tonight, right here in this in this 15 minutes of faith, I want to give you some scripture, some word to build your faith. And let's look at today, right now. We're not, you know, this isn't about 
100 years from now and 100 years ago. Let's look about right now, this Wednesday night, dealing with where you are in this moment. Uh, God had to tell the nation of Israel, think of their, think of their expectation. After 400 years of slavery, we're, we're here getting ready. Uh, we, we've had this incredible, miraculous exodus from Egyptian rule. We are now journeying to the promised land. Man, once we get in that promised land overnight, everything is going to be perfect. I mean, we're going to cross that River Jordan. We're going to show up, and every giant's going to flee, and every foreign army is going to run away from us. Man, this is going to be quick and fast. That's what they wanted. That's what we like. Don't you like microwave answers to your prayer? I sure do. Don't you like to kneel down and pray and you get the answer before you get back up on your feet? I love that. You love that. Tell the truth. So, but sometimes it doesn't happen that way. And we have to understand how to respond with faith, knowing God isn't limited to my timetable or my expectation, but he's working. So, so let's look at this moment. This is, this uh, this is not what I expected moment from uh, Israel and apply to where we are today. This is what God told them as they finally stepped into the promised land. This is what he said. Listen, it's interesting. Exodus 23, verse 27. He says, I will send my terror ahead of you. Wow, I like that. And throw into confusion every nation you encounter. Okay, God, this is what I expected. This, this, this is what I want to hear. This is what I want to hear on this Wednesday night in, in 2020 in the coronavirus. He says, I will make your enemies turn their backs and run. Getting better every statement. Verse 28, I will send the hornet ahead of you. Wow, I didn't know God used hornets. Okay, God, whatever you want to use. And they're going to drive out all your enemies, the Hivites, the Canaanites, the Hittites. They'll drive them out of your way. It's so good. God, this is exactly what I expected. This is exactly what I thought would happen. And then we get to verse 29, but I will not drive them out in a single year because the land would become desolate and the wild animals too numerous for you. Oh my goodness. God, you're going to make our enemies run. Oh yes. You're, you're going to drive them away from us. Oh yes. You mean you're even going to use hornets to make them flee? Oh yes. However, <laughs> I'm not going to do it in a single year because if all of the enemies you see were suddenly gone, listen to this, the ones you don't even know about would be worse. Trust God. Listen to the next verse 30. Little by little, now see, I don't like that. That's not what I expected. Little by little, I will drive them out before you until you have increased enough to take possession of the land. Sometimes the answer to our prayer comes in a way we did not expect. It's not what I wanted. I don't like this time frame. Come on, God. I love the promise. I'll send my terror ahead of you. I'm going to throw into confusion every nation you encounter. I'll make your enemies turn and turn their backs and run. Man, that is so good. But then we get to the little by little. <laughs> I will drive them out before you until you've increased enough to take possession of the land. So what do I do when I walk into a moment that's not what I expect. When I'm dealing with a time schedule, that's not the one I want. I have to remember this. God's still working. God's moving. And little by little, we're moving toward the answer that, that I'm praying for, the promise God gave me. So what do I do today when today's not what I expected? Here's what you do. You remember God's moving right now. God's working right now. Little by little, day by day. God's moving that enemy out of the way. And remember what he said? It wasn't because God was slow. It was not because God couldn't do it in a day. It was not because God can't fulfill my small expectations. It's because I wasn't ready for God to do what he promised. Let me read that verse again. Little by little, I will drive them out before you until you have increased enough to take possession of the land. So here's what I want to encourage you to do today. Maybe today, God's time frame, his time schedule, is not what we wanted, what we expected. Hey, I thought the coronavirus would be gone by now. Everything back like it was before, all of my, the jobs, our work, our security, come on. So what's happening? God is working. Hallelujah. God is working. Little by little, 
at a pace that's for our best. So what do I do? I have to remember, number one, God's working. God's for me. God's with me. His promises are true, and God will do exactly what he said. But I'm in the equation. So what can I do? Instead of worrying and fretting, being discouraged and pouting about God not doing it the way I wanted him to, I'm going to trust him. I'm going to remember little by little, every day is a victory. Did you hear me? Today is a victory. If everything you wanted to see did not happen today, it's happening, just not completed yet, little by little. Today's a victory. Tomorrow when you wake up will be a victory. We're, and what are we going to do? So we're going to grow. What does that mean? My faith is going to increase. My trust is going to increase. My confidence in God is going to increase. So I cannot do God's part of the equation, but I can do my part. And I'm going to be ready. And I'm going to be developing. And I'm going to be growing in faith. And I'm going to be reaching out to God. And I'm going to be doing my part because I can promise you God's doing his part. So let's put our expectation on God. Let's put our hope in him today. Stop looking at the circumstances. Let's stop being discouraged by the pace or the time or what we see. Just because today is not what I expected does not mean that God's not in control, that God is not fulfilling his promise. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about today. I want you to be get, become excited with me right now. I'm excited that little by little, God is working for our good. Little by little, I'm moving towards the promises of God. Everything he said he would do, he is doing it. It's no longer someday he's going to. He is doing it right now. And I'm going to be on board when I see all of it happen. Little by little, step by step, day by day. If you give up today, you're not going to be positioned for what God's planning to do tomorrow. Come on, hang in there redo, shift your expectations away from your design and your time and my time and my schedule. And let's say, God, thank you. Today, you're working. Today, I have moved one step closer to everything you promised me. You are turning my enemies away from me. You are in charge of my life. They are running away from me. And every day, I'm closer to seeing the fulfillment of what you promised me. Are you with me today? Come on. Let's put our expectations back on God. Let's be reminded every day we serve him is a victory. And let's be devoted to the fact we are going to grow and increase during this time. Our faith, our strength, our trust in God, it's a very important time. So let's pray together right now. You ready? Come on, right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that my friend that is joining me, we're in agreement together that they're not giving up. They're not going away. They are understanding. We've had some faith put in us today, Father, and we realize you are working little by little. I'm moving there. I may have expected something else, but I refuse to allow my expectation to cause my faith to move off you, Father. I pray for hope right now. I pray that my friend grabs hold of your faith, grabs hold of your word, grabs hold of the declaration that you're defeating the enemies. You're turning their, them away. They're running from us. At this moment, our enemies are running from us. And little by little, we're growing in our faith, moving to the promised land. I, I release faith, hope, strength, grace on them right now. I release the power of the word of God to change everything. We receive that. We're excited about what you are doing and what you promise us. And we commit to you, Father, we're staying on board. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. My friend, come on, take this word with me and let's decree and declare me, my family, my friends, my circumstances, we're rising above. Uh, fear, lack, depression, uncertainty, guilt, shame, and we're moving forward to every promise that God is at this moment making a reality in our life. It's been great to join you tonight for 15 minutes of faith every Wednesday night at 6.30. I'll be right here to connect with you. Hey, I want to invite you. Uh, stay connected with us online with, with our Calvary Live Facebook and our calvaryassembly.org uh, uh, website. A lot of, of available resources are there. And Sunday morning, 9 and 11, you can join us on site or online. It is going to be amazing. Thanks for joining me. God bless you. Come on. 
Let's press in today. God bless.